The drumbeat for change echoed down Market Street in San Francisco. Rise up, my people, rise up. Sky 7 showed thousands of people taking a stand and marching against climate change. Parent Amber Kerr is worried about her kids' future. They're two and five years old, and the world is going to look very different by the time even that they're my age, let alone my grandparents' age. Joseph Masambe traveled from Uganda to say climate change is happening worldwide. It's not just about one country, one uh, area, one people. The planet is one. It's been a year of historic wildfires. There's drought in many parts of the world. Sea levels are rising. The march comes days before world leaders, researchers and activists arrive in San Francisco for a global climate summit organized by the UN and Governor Jerry Brown. We're here to demand that our elected leaders do more about climate change. On Saturday, Governor Brown signed two bills to block the Trump administration's offshore oil drilling expansion. In a statement, the governor said today's message to the Trump administration is simple. Not here, not now. We will not let the federal government pillage public lands and destroy our treasured coast. But some activists say that's not enough because the governor is still approving onshore drilling projects throughout the state. We need Governor Brown to set a new bar for climate leadership by saying no to new oil wells. Moving away from fossil fuels toward renewable energy is a movement even dinosaurs seem to like. Now Larkin Street has reopened, but hours after the march, folks were invited to help paint these street murals. There are 54 in all, most of them offering solutions to climate change. They're all made with clay-based, non-toxic paint, and uh, organizers are hope they stick around uh, before the climate summit is set to begin next week.